next I'm going to take the um, the wiring harness off of the fuel rail and we're going to go ahead and take the fuel rail out and we'll try to leave the injectors hooked to the fuel rail uh, and then we're just going to get this out of the way as well so you can start here with your uh, this is uh, wiring connectors for your catalytic converters go ahead and pull them out of the way see what's going on and this harness has a clip here a little connector you just press the clip down and pull it off same thing for the front here another little connector same deal and then the wiring harness itself clips onto each one of the injectors so sometimes you have to take a screwdriver and just kind of give it a little pry you have to be careful though because these are plastic and they will break off Cameraman, he's back. What are you doing now? I'm popping the uh, connectors off of, and these will come off too, by the way. You squeeze them together. Might give us a little bit more room. So just work your way down the, each one of the injectors. Just give it a little push. All right. So there you go. You can see each one, each connector has a little uh, silver clip. So that's all that's holding it in there. You just have to give it a little pry. All right. So put that off to the side and now we've got one two three four bolts holding the fuel rail in and that looks to be about a 10 millimeter let's see yeah that's 10 millimeter And it looks like we have a some sort of a mouse nest or something going on in here. The car is parked outside beside the woods, so I would say there's a field mouse that has made a nice little home in there. <laughs> I don't think it's part of our misfire problem, but we'll clean it out anyway. So that's four 10 millimeter bolts. So now these injectors have O rings that kind of, you know, you have to pop those out. And if you just wiggle and pull up, hopefully it will come free. Just like that. Okay. 
So there's our injectors. Um, I think these may be new injectors. I'll have to go back and look at the records on this, but uh, they're kind of dirty. But, but all in all, I think these are brand new from last fall. So we're just going to put these off to the side. For a second so now I can see I've got a clear shot to all the the, um, the bolts that are holding the upper the um, intake manifold so I'd like to get this off next and then we'll see what kind of a um, mouse nest we have in there so we'll do that next <laughs> 